Welcome to Onivia, League of Legends highlights. These are the best highlights from today's LCS matchup. Put in a similar level of performance. Yeah, having uh, multiple beefy frontliners there, but bottom lane. Oh yeah, bottom lane, <laughs> first blood is already grabbed. We didn't see the start of that. Sven's gonna be able to trade one back. It does go one for one, and the kill went to Ayla. So honestly, for Dignitas, not too bad. Uh, the extra experience pack here for River will be quite nice, and we'll see if they could actually get down to punish the Senna quick enough. I think it's going to be a little bit rough on timing since that flash for Isles is coming back pretty soon. But maybe with the exp extra experience from Grubs, uh, River's going to reset and might look down bottom to actually use it. It is going to get traded out during the uh, Grub timer for the Dragons, kind of as expected here for Spica, though. Especially with the Mumu, you have to worry about counter ganks early on, too. Mm -hmm. When you're Nocturne, if you fully commit and get in there, it can give a Mumu a very good counter gank ultimate angle and uh, turn around some of those kills. So tracking that enemy jungler first before you full send. Pull the trigger to start this fight. Ayla trying to hover around on the side as he wants to look for Sven and Isles, who are both quite squishy. The TP now coming in. Uh, from base here from Quid. We'll see if he can actually get the steal. Nocturne ult's gonna get popped, and there's a flash forward. They're in on to speak. I try to keep him alive. They can't do it. And the flash forward from Quid with the stolen Amumu ulti. Anything you can do, I can do better, says Quid. As he gets into the back line, they get two kills. And now Licorice is in trouble. Gonna have to use a Cyclone defensively, trying to get out. Nice slow on the Quid there from Quid. Does land the Q. Tomo going for it. I don't think they'll have enough to dive, but they do force the flash out from Licorice and Hunter Thieves come up big in the first early exchange. Such a powerful tool, and look at their inventories. Three Trinity forces plus the Leandries completed. Pretty good. So they have all their first item power spikes, and they're just gonna try and force on the dragon. 100 Thieves, no reason for them to go over there again. And we'll see about this dragon stacking timer for Dignitas. Oh. Yeah. As they're gonna go in mid lane. Sven in a lot of trouble here. The fear tether lands the Senna ult way too late. That's an easy kill for 100 Thieves on the engage. To this Herald and also keeping Ziggs mid hopefully means that he'll be able to get some damage onto that tier one. That is kind of crazy too, because Sven had flash. Like that was an Ezreal with flash in mid lane. And Ayla was seen clearing the ward, and they just say, I don't care. And they full send. Nocturne ult in. Ayla follows up. Another All right, Dignitas maybe looking for a fight. They're going to engage on his Spika. Spika gets in the back and gets an ulti on two. Tomo's low, but they can't take him down just yet. And now it's Spika on a solo mission. He's got to flash out Jensen in the back line. And Quinn snipes Spika with the stolen Senna ult. And now Jensen in trouble here. He's going to get fear tethered up. Can't quite finish oh! off River. Disaster for Dignitas. In a uh, rough situation there, but. Uh, Quid stealing away the Senna ult, perfect choice from him. This was the real kicker though, because you thought it was going to be one for one, and River actually had the two kills on him too, so it would have been a really nice one to take. Yeah. Double flash. Yeah. Yeah. Just yeah. flash timers. Yeah. Flash timers. I mean, they just couldn't get in the back line. You know, Jensen was dealing a lot of damage, but Sven's ult didn't quite connect. Like a jungle fight where the area is a little bit more restricted, but. Uh, 100 Thieves are doing such a good job using their early lead here to take down the outer towers and make the map so open so that then you have to just have the fear of God, the fear of Nocturne yeah. Ziggs ult. Say, Nasus, if, if you get a lot of gold, you can become difficult to take down as well. It does look like they're going to be able to grab this last tier one or at least chunk it low enough that they should be able to satchel it and they're going to go into the back line at the same time. It's all out and the Nocturne ult spent on Isles and he is just erased. This is just really good play. Again, take down all outer towers and no play on the map is safe for you. They can just full send even in quote unquote your own jungle. 100 Thieves instantly knocked an ultimate. Nicely done. Was and gone too. They yeah. just got three towers. This sequence yep. from them, they gave up only was... one to the NASA split push and they took three towers. And look to move towards Soul Point as they have to keep Spika away from Quid. You can't actually give him that Soul and Mumu all easily. So you need to be playing pretty far back. River though, gonna pink over the wall here. Looking to try to find an angle in. Licorice as well, threatening on the side. And Ayla is hunting for them. Isles is poked out, and I think that's just going to be it. They're just going to yeah. have to leave. Yeah, the threat was too much. Again, Quid already has that Umumu ult to respond, uh, and they're able to get a ton of Ziggs pokes. Open. Poke. They were never concerned about the dragon stacking because they get the early lead, open up the map, and make it harder for Dignitas to even set up for their dream fight. In the jungle though, Jensen's going for it. Yeah, he is going for it. The ulti is popped. The phase rush is there. They're gonna try to chase in. They get the shutdown. 
plus 12, stack him and rack him. He's gonna chase down Sniper as well. He's withered and he's gonna run. Jensen flashing forward. It's the big dog on campus. Jensen knocks down two and now Licorice in the back line here. Quid does have the stolen alt. They're gonna get a third on Tomo. How much more can they get? Isles can chase in as Licorice has found Ayla. It's gonna be four oh, for zero man. here for man. Dignitas. How much more can they get? There are pings over on a Baron, but they are opposite side of the map. River's up in 10. Down the blood pressure a little bit here, but that was so hype. Jensen phase rush Nasus. Oh, the ulti is popped from Nocturne. He's into the back line. He's onto the Senna. The Senna surely going to go down. Tries to flash out of there, but he's dead already. Jensen on the other side. It's going to get shut down as well. And this could be a counter Baron now. They way overstay their welcome. They both go down. Do they actually start anything here? They're trying to look for a turn, but the turn is pretty weak. They are now onto the Baron. They can have Isles healing the back up. And Licorice is behind them. They haven't spotted him. Here comes Licorice. Surprise! The three-man ulti from Licorice. As we see Sniper go all out just to try to run away. Sven gets the first kill. They're in on Tomo. They're looking for another. Spika into the back line. Curse of the Sad Mummy grabs two. They're able to knock down the Ziggs. Now, can they get more? Quinn and Ayla trying to defend. Yeah, we'll see if they can do it. Ayla trying to push forward. Quid looking for a good ulti to steal. Instead, he's going to go hunting for Isles. Can't find him with the Abscon Abduct. Got and Dignitas it. will secure the Baron here from the massive disadvantage. They seem to have pulled it back. It got dicey there for a while, but Jensen now is getting massive. 24 off of two of their heads. And they're looking for more now. Nasus over in mid lane, splitting through these two lanes here. The wave clear is really only Tomo. No one else can actually safely clear waves, 400 Thieves. It does get very difficult if you get behind with a melee heavy comp. Which mid lane first, because this dragon goes down so fast, they want to get here immediately. Yeah, Rivers over on the side. He can obviously join with the Nocturne ult. Quid has stolen the Amumu ulti, so that is going to be key. Dignitas need to be careful about this. Remember, Sven has no cleanse, so if he gets caught by that, he could be going 100 to 0. Needs to watch his positioning. He's trying to poke and prod, but it is always risky. They are pushing them back out for now as we see River moving over towards mid. He's now got the shove there. He's going to come back to join the team. Jensen now on the side is looking for a potential angle to get in onto the back line as Sven cannot be ignored much longer. He's starting to really chip away at them. Quid getting pretty low. Sniper getting pretty low as well. There's the Nocturne ulti as Ayla flashed forward there. Couldn't actually get a Quid in the back line. It's flashed away from Sven. Oh. He only got the Senna. And here comes DK. Jensen's in the back line. Licorice has the ulti knocking him up. And Jensen is just dunking him. The Nasus is crushing through 100 Thieves. Dignitas are TPing for the end. Jensen and Licorice have been impossible to deal with in these team fights as the game has gone on. They'll at least be able to push in, get this inhib, uh, potentially get some damage onto the Nexus turrets. Yeah, yeah definitely. For They're going to go for the end yeah. here. Ayla's going to die. That's going to be them going next as turrets. Yeah, let's see if they can get it done. Quid's going to be back up in five, but they are on the towers. And I think this game is done. 100 Thieves had a good start, but Jensen on the Nasus mid, the first in LCS history, helps Dignitas claim game number one. These were the best highlights from today's LCS matchup. Click that subscribe button faster than Ramus can say, okay. See you on the next one.